Uh, first, okay, who am I? I I'm Ivan Hernandez. Nice to, to meet all. Uh, actually, I'm the leader of a cyber threat intelligence team in, in right here in Colombia, Seven Way Security. I work as the digital investigator. I am a teacher too in B Hacker Pro, is a, a startup uh, to try to bring to the people a high content of uh, cyber security uh, only in Spanish. Uh, I'm a person really passionate about all uh, cyber intelligence and CTFs. Uh, my last workshop was in Besides Colombia 2023. Uh, to keep in mind in this session, uh, English isn't my native language and my pronunciation might be not be perfect. So I'll do my best to convey my message clearly. Your understanding is greatly appreciated. Thank you to, to all. In the agenda of this session, uh, we're going to see what does LATAM look like from the outside, the overview of phishing and impersonation today in LATAM, uh, how the phishing is a profitable business, disadvantage that, for my experience, using OSINT in the process to track cyber criminal, tips, portals, and more. And finally, we're going to end the, the session with the power of leaks to profile bad guys in, in LATAM, and so many learned lessons in the, in the process. For, from my experience. What does LATAM look from the onside? Uh, many people uh, can think in the jungle, coffee, uh, some serious in internet like uh, narcos, for example, and doesn't uh, see anything else that this. But that we see in LATAM actually is, uh, for example, different types of phishing. Fishing advanced and basic. For example, in this image, you can see uh, advanced phishing with a, a portal to access to the administration to see the victims for uh, this uh, bank, for example. We see to uh, scam to e-commerce e -commerce companies. We can see a scam, a scam too for car insurance. So many people uh, fee a file in this uh, scam trying to get a, a car insurance uh, ship. We can see different cardings group, local cardings group right here in LATAM, and a lot of defacement uh, to the government portals, for example. So this is the, the panorama of how we see uh, the cyber crime actually in, in LATAM. Facts, all banks now in LATAM are victims of phishing. We just show some examples during this session. How, how was the process to track the, the persons behind these phishing sites? The overview of impersonation in LATAM today, we're gonna see three different kinds of actors uh, that actually his job is make uh, advanced and basic phishing right here in the, in the country and in LATAM. The most common feature profile in LATAM is this one. We're gonna see a young, a very young person without knowledge, a low technical knowledge. This person can be easily uh, profiled and this person, they don't hide their data actually. So this person has low technical knowledge and that uh, uh, make, it, make us more easy to profile it. They try phishing kits on WhatsApp and Telegram. So if you are in a, a specific Telegram channel where this person have a trade the phishing kits, you can profile them. And they laundry money on platforms such as uh, Rappi, or Walt, Amazon, and e-commerce sites. They don't have the, the budget to buy domain, so they use free portals. In the investigation that we do, uh, tracking this person, we see all these common portals that use this person to get free domains and host their phishing rider. This is an example of a national bank that has a, a phishing kit uh, rider. As you can see, the, the final domain is rapl.com. So this is a free domain and where the person has the, the phishing. This is another example, another national bank. 
As you can see, all this uh, in the end of the domain has the RPL DACO uh, domain. Uh, one uh, characteristic of this, this portal is that this person can create a phishing kit, phishing domains uh, so quickly. So in four clicks and less than 10 seconds, this person can create right here in these portals, a uh, forking uh, project in, in REPL, uh, the phishing kit. So they don't have to, they don't have advanced knowledge of about phishing, so they can only can fork and clone uh, another phishing and get an additional and free phishing kit in less than 10 seconds. Uh, they have failures that allow you to see where the big teams are going. So if you read this, this code, you can see the token and the shad ID of the telegram in this phishing kit to get the big teams uh, address in telegram. This is a, a failure of these a first kind of actor in, in, the, in the LATAM. A, another characteristic is the this person know how did uh, their phishing kits and tools. So you can get and read the Telegram channel and see where the big teams are going. And you can uh, see the password and national document ID of the, of the big team. So uh, if you are tracking this kind of first actor, you can uh, read this Telegram channel and get an alert of the big teams, for example, or delete this data. The second phishing profile that we see in, in Telegram, we can uh, see is a, another young person, for example, but this person have another different characters. Uh, he has low technical knowledge as the first one, is easily profiled as they do not hate their data, but the difference uh, in this and the first one is his, uh, his one, is has more time and experience in the activity. They own more than one different fishing kit and can buy some ship domains, preferably uh, with the domain ended in X, Y, Z, R, T, K. So as you can see in this uh, slide, you can see a bank, a phishing bank, and you can see the, the enter password in the portal to get, to get the administration. So this person used more advanced uh, phishing kits and hosted in some ship domains. The other characters, characteristic is he uh, has too many phishing, uh, two different phishing in the same domain. In the left, you can see a phishing for a bank, and in the right, you can see a phishing for Netflix in only, only a single domain. So this person can uh, share different uh, phishing kits in a same domain, for example. The, they can pay ads in Google, for example, uh, to get index phishing in search engines. And finally, we had a, a third phishing profile seen in LATAM actually. Uh, slightly more advanced knowledge, he can buy compromised sites and host the fish in there. So this person can uh, have the, the knowledge to hack other portals and host their phishing right there or uh, buy them. Uh, as the first of the second, uh, we can see the big teams are sent to the email address. So we have profiled different email address of this actor, for example. And in, in this image, you can see, for example, uh, a domain of a legitimate company, but he has a vulnerability and this actor uh, compromised that site and host their phishing right there. This person used the, the data for laundry money, for example, buying cryptocurrency, we see a lot of uh, this action in Binance, for example. Uh, he, he do half price utility payments and paying adversity for other phishing in search engine for, for example, Google. Now, let's see, is a profitable business the, the phishing actually right here in, in LATAM? How much does a phishing cost? For example, $10 for the domain or $10 for a web shell of a compromised site cloned. 
If it's a person who use a fishing kit, this, this investment is free. And we see an average number of victims like 30 and 70 uh, victims for portal. The profits that we see, for example, average credit card value in bank account per victim is $700 approximately. So if you see, uh, if you do a multiplication of 30 victims uh, for uh, $700, you can uh, see a result for only single portal uh, and a profit for these persons of $22,000 uh, incoming for the, this phishing in a single portal with an only investment of $10. So right now that we see is a really profitable uh, business. Let's suppose that this person has a average number of fake portals per company, only one bank, seven. So the average earning of one phishing $22,000 for or multiplicate for the average number of fake portals per company, seven. So the earnings in one day is $155,000. So this is a, a huge a view of how this is happening right now in, in LATAM. So let's suppose that a uh, this is the, the profit for only one bank. But what about if the same actor fish uh, several or different banks? So the, the profitable business is going to be bigger. So we see in, in resume, three different kind of actors and a lot of profitable business. And we can uh, match this with the, the how is easy to create phishings actually for person without advanced knowledge of phishing, for example. Uh, one lesson or disadvantage of using open source intelligence for hunting bad guys in, in LATAM, uh, one of them is that actors use mules to laundry money. So tracking them sometimes results in finding the mules and not the real perpetrator, perpetrators or real actors behind this. So this is one of the disadvantage right now. The other one is almost all tools of, for example, OSIN framework for people search doesn't work in some countries in Latin, for example, if you see Spokio, People, Bomb, and another, uh, you can search for a person from my country and you can get uh, enough results or a official result. So this is an, an disadvantage when you are using the OSIN in, in, in a process in LATAM. Another one is the, the sale of SIM cards. It's not so regulated in so many countries in LATAM. For example, in Colombia, anyone can buy uh, one, one SIM card without presenting documents and can less, cost less than $1. So tracking a number is difficult because an actor can buy hundreds of SIM cards uh, and we can search for a number, but the bad actor can chase the number more, more easy. So this is a, a big, really big disadvantage right, right now. Some citizens doesn't care about his privacy and private data. So the criminals can find a lot of data exposed in internet sometimes. For example, you can search a document national uh, identification in internet from citizens in LATAM. You do la as an uh, investigator, but the bad actors do too. For example, the names of every personal identification document change in many countries. Uh, for example, in Colombia, is CC or Cédula de Ciudadanía. This is a national identification number. But in Brazil is CPF, uh, it changed in Spain, United States. So this is a disadvantage when you are using uh, OSIN to get information. So uh, these terms change in every country. This is another example. For example, you can see the national transit registry change in, in Colombia is the RUND. 
but in Brazil is the Trump, for example, Argentina is DNRPA, United States is DMB. So you got to be conscious to get these uh, different terms in every country. Finally, in Colombia, for example, you can see EPS, that is a, a healthcare system, but uh, in other countries, his name is different. Uh, another is this one, traffic citation you know, is a comparendo, but is a different in different countries. Why this, all this is important? Because uh, EPS, traffic citation, DNA number is useful uh, to find information about a person in different uh, countries in LATAM using the right uh, portals that we see in the next slides. So in the process, we saw that common portal doesn't work. So let's find the, the right portals to work. This is a, a tips or example in Colombia. For, for example, if you have a DNA of a bad actor, you can search information of this actor uh, in open portal for government, for example. You can get information in the place of voting, the, the registraduría, and you can get information of this uh, DNA number as the, the location close of the place of voting and all the first name and last name. The, the healthcare system associate of a person, you can see where is the healthcare system, get information of that, their location, their number. And finally, you can search, for example, in the police records, you can see a, a person have a police records only searching by his name or his DNA. And finally, a, get information of a study of, of a person in the, the portal of Sena. Why this is important? Uh, because uh, as we see, uh, the open information uh, from, for example, OSIN framework doesn't work. We can get in every country in LATAM and search for these portals to get more uh, information. Uh, this is the two, two, two tools that is useful, even if you are searching information of difference in cars. So true color, collab can, maybe have some fails positives, but can help you to connect the dots in different uh, OSIN process when you are investigation a person in, in LATAM. We can we are see that APO is working good in LATAM too. For example, you can search a phone or in a number, number and get a real information. So uh, this is useful uh, in process in using LATAM, uh, using OSIN in LATAM. So once you have identified the country where you will be doing your OSIN process and you know the local terms, like CC, cédula, uh, traffic comparendo, uh, police record, identify the, the correct portals, then make your own research flow. That is an important tip because once you identify all these local terms, you can make a quickly OSIN process in the investigation of a person or person of interest or cyber criminal. This is an example of a flow chart of how to investigate a person, for example, in, in Colombia or uh, a LATAM country. So if you have the DNA number, you can get uh, information in the military info portal, search for penalty traffic violation, get information of certificate of study in place of voting, healthcare system, a system, a vehicle information. So the, the tip is create your own research flow in, in LATAM. The next one is how the people see these leaks. In the, in the left, you can see a leak of a Colombian airline. On the right, you can see a leak of Facebook, for example, the, the Facebook leak in 2021. How do we see these leaks uh, is uh, information that can be sorted, parsed with filters for company, numbers, citizens, ID, email, and location. So if you have 
a, a, a league, for example, you can parse and organize this uh, data and get uh, information to, to search more quickly. If you have an email of a bad actor, a phone number, a DNA number of, of an actor, you can search in your own private dashboard this information and get more useful information for your uh, target. So uh, in this one, we, we put the data of a leak of an airline in Power BI, for example, and get information more useful for every data that we can uh, consult in this one. Uh, in the, for example, Data League of Facebook, you've been able to obtain a phone number from an account or being able to obtain an account ID based on a phone number. So if you find a uh, an phone number from a scam in Latam or another country, you can search this in the, in the Facebook League and get the, for example, they get the real Facebook profile of associate uh, this phone number. So we made the same create a dashboard, put the data and parse the, the data right there. And now we're able to, to search by a company, by a phone number or by a, by a Facebook ID and get information. So this is a, a really deep helpful uh, to track cyber criminals or bad actors in, in LATAM. So we wanna become this a process. So constantly uh, monitor leaks and breaks if it's possible, download to or but get protection to don't download a malware, for example. Next, sort the, the data, use data analytics and custom dashboard for private investigation. If you have a person of interest, a bad actor, a cyber criminal, so a major OSIN process, customer custom dashboard of leaks, and finally, uh, connect the dots or correlationate all these one together. Learning learn lessons, so some actors in the desire to earn money make mistakes, as we see in the phishing kits, tend to be unaware if their data is leaking. So this person only want to make money easy but don't have knowledge about what is a data leak, for example. So don't underestimate this and remember that. Operations only with the support from open source can take years, months, or weeks, depend on the, the operation, but it's important to know it. You need to be patient and know how to connect the, the dots in this process. Use government or country portals can be useful to find open information. The process of gaining trust and mingling with attackers can save a lot of time and tools during, the, during some operations, so don't forget that. Some flexibility in how some business operate can be abused by criminals. For example, the SIM cards mobile data phones and lack of cybersecurity knowledge on the part of citizens can make more easy the, the job for criminals. The attackers actually prefer free service, exist local carding groups in every country in, in LATAM actually. Some actors create his own tools or phishing kit or clone it, and exist local phishing groups and, and actors. They're only, uh, they're the actors of phishing the, is local too, actually. Finally, we have to think out of the box if we don't find the tools to catch bad guys. For example, we see that the tools the in OSIN framework doesn't work, so we have to, think out of the box and find where is the other information that we can use in, in our process or innocent. Finally, every country has open information that we can use in the process of OSINT.
if in your country has a data leak convert in a string. For example, in Colombia has uh, this air, airline uh, leak. So we convert that in a string to get information of bad actors to, to catch them. The back door, and finally, the, the back doctors are humans. They have mistakes. And don't forget that if you are stuck in a process in your OSIN investigation, because if you remember that, you can find and think in different ways of how this person made a mistake and how you can use this mistake to, to profile them and to find them. So that's, that's the finally learned lesson. So this is all. I'm great to, to share all this. I'm sorry again for my pronunciation. <laughs>